Hi, my name's Alex, and today I'm going to show you this simple occlusion system using FMOD and Unreal Engine 4. I wanted to experiment in bringing some of the obstruction functionalities that I know about from WISE over to FMOD and make it possible to have sound be partially occluded or fully occluded. To start off, on Event Tick, I've set up a public boolean and a branch which allows occlusion to be enabled and disabled in the editor. If occlusion is enabled and the branch reads true, it goes through with the rest of the blueprint, but if it's false, it will read a print statement saying what has been disabled. To not use as much CPU power, I've included an occlusion refresh interval so that it's possible to define how often the trace is fired. So I have the numerator set to 1 and then the occlusion refresh interval set as the denominator and then that gets fed into the delay. By getting a float value of 1, when I increase the refresh interval number, the delay will be smaller and smaller. So I'm calculating the positions of two variables here, the source location and the listener location. In the calculate positions function, the ray trace will be drawing a line between the source location and the listener location, but by default it will draw towards around the waste area of the player pawn. By running the operation vector plus vector, that allows me to control the z-axis and place the trace where I want it. Then at the end of the calculate positions function, I'm returning a float value of the distance between the two variables. This distance float is being stored by calculating the difference between the two locations of the source and the listener, then comparing it against a maximum defined distance. If the player exceeds the maximum defined distance, then none of the traces are run, so no processing power is wasted on something that the player wouldn't even be able to hear. On the line trace, there's the return value which will turn true if the trace hits an object. And if an object is hit, then all the calculations within the collapse graph will run. Within that graph, I'm calculating the length of an array, then converting that number, which would be an integer, to a float, which is then being fed into the true fmon parameter. On false, the value of the parameter is set to zero, because if there are no hits taking place, nothing would be obstructing the audio source or the audio listener. To finish off with this blueprint, Everything is collapsed down into a macro, just to keep the event graph looking nice and neat. Before showing the finished result of this blueprint, I'd like to quickly thank Josh Adam Bell and Owen Cooper, whose tutorials helped me learn a lot more about how to set up occlusion systems like this one in Unreal Engine. I'll leave links to their channels in the description below.